How we doing out there, Titans fans? Embarrassed? Probably. I am. Tennessee Titans fall to 0-2 tonight. They should fall to like 0-10. That should have counted for, for a lot more games than just one. That was so bad. Was it, What was the final? 41-7 to in Buffalo. They fall to the Bills. And I had a bad feeling. Okay, I, I was having a hard time even getting excited for this game because I had such a bad feeling that this was going to happen. And sometimes you have this idea that something's going to go horrible and then it goes worse than you could have even imagined. And that's exactly what happened tonight. 41-7, to the Titans completely outplayed, outcoached in every way. In every way. And a lot of you are going to say, listen, man, it's the Bills. We know the Bills are like Super Bowl favorites. They're just at the top of their game. There's no, no. For all due respect to the Bills. I'm not taking anything away from the Bills. I understand how good the Bills are. I went to the Titans Bills Monday night or last year, met a lot of Bills fans, very cool people. I understand, like the Bills, <laughs> they may very well be the ones holding up the trophy in February. Okay, I understand how good the Bills are. Okay. That being said, it's one thing to lose. You know, there's not really any shame in losing to the Bills because of how good they are. It's one thing to go out there and and fight and compete and just come up short at the end. I can I can deal with that. But when you go out there on national television in prime time and do what they did tonight, that's a totally different thing. Okay. That is like heads need to roll. Okay. Let's start where we ended last week. Todd Downing, offensive coordinator, shouldn't be employed tomorrow. I never want to see people get fired from their job, but he'll land on his feet somehow. He, he doesn't need to be a part of the staff tomorrow. I saw Herm Edwards. He, uh, whatever college he was coaching at, he like, there was video of it. He got fired before he even got off the field the other night. That's what needed to happen to Todd Downey tonight. He don't, need, he don't even need to get in a locker room. Okay, I'm sure he's a nice guy. I'm sure, but as an offensive coordinator, I'm done. I'm done. Okay. The personnel that he's got on the field, once again, it's the same thing as last week. So it ain't getting better. It's the same stuff as last week. You got the wrong guys out there. You've got weapons on the team that are not being used. Not even having a chance to make a play because they're not even in the game. And the play calling is horrendous. Okay. That's first thing's gotta happen. That's top of the list right there. He's gotta be he's gotta go. I don't know who you get to take his place, but he's gotta be gone. That's first thing. But the sad thing, Titans fans, is, is that it doesn't stop there. If it was that easy, we could just get a new offensive coordinator and then go forward and everything would be fine. But it's deeper than that. The Titans have missed on some early round draft picks now, and it's starting to have an effect on this team. Isaiah Wilson, you already know about that disaster. I don't even need to go into that. But Caleb Farley, their first round draft pick from last year, he sucked tonight. God bless that kid. I hope he recovers and has, like, but he was awful tonight. Um, And it <laughs> didn't even play in the second half. I don't know if he's injury, injured. Probably everybody on the team's injured. Because it, it, did that sound familiar to anybody? He wasn't even in there in the second half. We got some dude named Trey Avery. Covering Stefan Diggs. What? what are you thinking? What do you think's going to happen when you put a rookie corner man to man with Stefan Diggs? What do you think? Are you, I mean, do you really going to act surprised when Stefan Diggs is, is doing his Michael Jackson dance in the end zone? What did you think was going to happen? Okay, they're missing on these early round draft picks. 
and it's it's getting out of hand. They had that great draft in 2019, but it's been it ain't been smooth sailing since then. Okay, we gotta talk about injuries. I don't know if there's anything you can do. Maybe it's just bad luck, whatever. But <laughs> I, I I start looking for a new strength and conditioning coach at this point because we know last year it was out of hand. Now we already got Bud Dupree, who they paid a lot of money. They paid a lot of money for this dude to be hurt all the time. God bless him. I don't want to say I don't want to make light of anybody being injured, but goodness. Okay, so now Harold Landry, who they paid big money, he's out for the year already. Now Bud Dupree, who's their other edge rusher, he's hurt. Don't know the extent of it. Goodness gracious. Okay. Now, also we got to talk about the personnel they have on the team. You, you trade A.J. Brown. You can go back and watch my video. The night that they traded A.J. Brown, everything I said that night still stands today. Uh, what are we going to do now? Okay, so we got rid of the best receiver we've ever had in the history of the organization. So what do we, And by the way, was it not like pouring salt in the wound, Titans fans, when they would cut in to the Titans getting demolished to let you know that A.J.'s Eagles are over here wiping the floor with Minnesota on the other channel? Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Couldn't be any better, right? What are we going to do to replace him? Okay, so we bring in Traylon Burks, who did some good stuff tonight. One of the only bright spots of the team, but he's seldomly ever in the game. He's never a focal point. And that brings me to this. I love Derrick Henry, obviously. He may be the greatest Titan of all time. I feel like, and I saw somebody say this on Twitter, and it makes a lot of sense. I feel like all we care about is getting him the ball. That's all we care about. It's like we only know one way to try to win a game, and that is to just give Derrick Henry the ball 40 times and wear a defense down, hope it's close in the fourth, and then he'll break a couple of runs. It's like that's the only way we know how to win. We have got to find another way to win. Number one, because Derrick Henry's been doing this for four years. It, you can't do this forever. Number two, and more importantly, the year is 2022. And as great as it is to have a solid running back, if you don't have a great passing attack, you forget it. You ain't making it to the. I mean, you ain't competing with Josh Allen and the Bills, Mahomes and the Chiefs, Lamar and the Ravens, uh, Herbert and the Chargers. You're not competing with these teams in the AFC with a with a solid running game. I'm sorry. I'm glad he's on the team, but let me tell you something. If things don't turn around, you better get used to this. This may be it. This may be it for him. This season, if things don't turn around, this may be it. I, I, the list is long of things that need to change, and some of it, I don't know what you do. This wide receiving core looks very average, very mediocre. And we knew that. But we hoped that maybe these coaches knew something we didn't. They don't. And Mike Vrabel, I still think he does a lot more right than wrong. I still like Vrabel. He was the coach of the year last year, and I think he deserved it. But if he doesn't start doing something about this, they're going to start coming for him. If you refuse, I mean, that's what happened to the guy before you, Mike Malarkey. They wanted him to get away from his offensive coordinator. He wouldn't do it. And now he, now he, I don't even know if he's employed anywhere. You better get real. Or you go from coach of the year to the hot seat quick, bro. Don't tell me it can't happen. The list is long. And as I said, the wide receiving core looks mediocre. The corners look very mediocre. The pass rush, now that we have no Harold Landry and Bud Dupree, looks mediocre. That looked so good last year. Oh, last year. Last year. I'm glad I brought up last year. Because in case you guys hadn't noticed, Titans fans, you want me to depress you real quick? Here you go. Last year was the year. Last year was the year. If we were ever going to do it, last year was the year. We had the defense... We had Derrick Henry back. We had AJ. We had Julio. Everybody was healthy. We had a favorable matchup in the divisional round. We had the ball near midfield going down there to kick a field goal to send us to the AFC Championship game. And somebody threw their third interception of the game. And we lost. 
Last year was the year. People said the window was getting ready to close. I fear it's already shut. Last year was it, guys. We didn't do it. So we traded away our best receiver. Now Derrick Henry's looking like he may be losing it a little bit. Offensive line, another mediocre um, element of this team. And now here we are. And I can't tell you how disheartening it is after a few years of feeling like this team could really compete with anybody and should be favored to win most weeks, I can't tell you how disheartening it is to be right back to 2011 through 2015 Titans expecting to lose. Because they play the Raiders next, and I don't expect them to win that game. Because I don't know how to fix some of this. You can get rid of Todd Downing, and that's a start, but I don't know how you fix the rest of this. I don't know. This year. This year, at least. I don't know. I don't know what corner you can go get that's going to magically fix the secondary. I don't know what wide receiver you can go get that's going to magically fix the receiving core. I don't know what offensive lineman you can go get that's going to magically fix everything. And I don't know what to do about Ryan Tannehill either because that interception he threw tonight was absolutely... I Flashbacks to the playoff game last year. That's how I feel right there. My dog barking like crazy. Yep. That's how I feel tonight. I don't know, man. I hope it turns around, but... Old coach of the year has got his work cut out for him now, doesn't he? Bye.